Poor caster. He lost a wyvern yesterday, right after he got it, and he lost another one today. He just doesn't have much luck with the wyverns. Oh no! Look out! It's a wolf! Let me grab this while I'm here. Yeah, that is something that I've not been able to do before that I can do with wyverns. I can actually loot, loot crates without having to get off the wyvern. Which is nice. Alright, let me see. Where did that stargate go? Now it's around here somewhere. Although this thing is fast enough. I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, there it is. Land. Off. Head back to my base. Fly through the gate. Hey, I flew through the gate. Why didn't it work? There we go. Flew through the gate backwards and it worked. Alright, now we gotta tri <laughs> quit getting distracted. See, that's 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 what happens with this game. Uh, you, you, you make a plan, you decide you're gonna do something, and then the game happens. And you don't do what you were planning on doing. So, all right. So what I think I'm gonna do is I gotta build. Uh, I'm so mixed. I I like the glass, but the glass roof because of frames and lag. I think I'm just gonna go with a wood roof. Um, with the reinforced. I'm gonna go with this. This floor right here, right, Luke? Right, monster. This is what you want. You want a straight metal roof? Like, we can do metal. Okay, so what we gotta do now is we have to count how many metal do we need. So this is, this part of the base is 17 wide. And we have four slopes. So if we were to slope all of them. See, yeah. uh, that would be 68 slopes, so I need 68 slopes. And our beaver here does this wonderful thing where our beaver will, um, he's actually also a, a, a builder. He has a smithy saddle. So, but what I've got to do First, I have to I have to get my stuff. I gotta get stuff out of the. Uh, let me raid my narco base here. We we have a stacker, and for some reason, when it comes to berries, the stackers like to stop at 299 and not produce more. I don't know if that's actually something that Mark does. Non-stackers, I've never been successfully able to build a uh, a farm. Vanilla. So let's see how much chitin do we have. We only have a thousand chitin left. Wow. We're actually running low on chitin. Which will mean we'll have to take a trip to the chitin farm. Grab the cementing paste. I'm not going to be able to carry all of that in good. So I'm going to grab some of that. Uh, go over here to the beaver. And it looks like they found another primal primal Donkey Kong. So we'll go over. I don't know. We'll, we'll see if they. I don't know. I kind of want to. I want to finish this building. Wait, do I have two extra glass metal ceilings there? I do. I have an idea as to what to do with these. This spot has driven me nuts because they're not quite lined up. So it's just been a bit of a pain to walk through. So now that I've seen the misalignment up there, what I'm going to do is put a glass ceiling in 
here. And now it looks now it's a little bit easier. Originally I was gonna put a dino gate in here and connect this to this and run be able to run through with my dinos, but I'm not sitting on my solar farm. See, there's my wonderful solar farm. So, we're, we're not going to allow that. No, nope, I'm sorry. You're not allowed to sit on my solar knock farm. Knock it out. Knock it out. Oh, I'm going to knock it out. Alright, we're going to knock him out when we get this. And See, that's a nice journeyman weaponry there. And, let's see. Uh, the five. Load some bullets into this sucker. And we'll go, we'll go talk to this guy face to face. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Move. Out. You're not welcome here. Good night. All right. Whoops. Well, we, we knocked it out. He just, he's not ever going to wake up from that. He's, he's been knocked out. Well, you know, knocked out, dead, same thing. He's no longer a bother for us, that's all I know. Alright, so... On to what we were doing. So we needed 68... Yeah, I'm going to the right spot. Chug, 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 running, running, running. Okay, there's those, there's those. Sloped metal roof. I want 68. I can build all of 20. Probably because I don't have enough uh, enough cementing paste. Because well, cementing paste doesn't last. And, all right. Well, I gotta do a little bit of building. I gotta do a little bit of uh, harvesting so I think I'm gonna call it on the stream because that stuff's not really fun and exciting to watch so thanks for watching and uh, I'll uh, probably be back on later Alright, welcome back. I uh, figured I would finish this up today with the uh, final last few pieces of the barn here. Uh, as you can see, you can hear that hiss. That means that I've got the jetpack on because I can't do it without it. As you can see right there, I've got all of the walls up. I've got most of the ceiling in. I've got about 15 pieces left to place here. I'll get back up here above the roof. Drop the jetpack off, and we've got these pieces in there. So, while uh, in the last one, the little monster there wanted me to do a completely solid metal roof, and I was okay with it until I really got looking at it, and it just didn't look right. So I decided to go with this big cross. I'm going to run over here. I got my wyvern sitting over here on the ground. Let's see, can I get him? Can I get him? Oh, I got him. Oh, yeah, it didn't get hurt. All right, so we're going to start up high here. And there you can see just a little bit of his face there. You can see I've got like a little small cross on the top of it of windows, um, glass metal ceilings. That looked pretty good. Um, I realized that door isn't centered and it's not going to be. 
That's just one of those tweaks with ARC where it just will not quite work. Um, so I'm leaving it like it is because it, 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 it works okay. It's not bad. So um, that's what the building looks like. I used every single different glass metal ceiling that there was. Uh, I used the, at the very top, see that little layer of the single windows, the ones that are, uh, oh, what do you call those, um, single vision, or single pane, non-see-through, uh, windows. So that way you get that little effect. I had a few extra, and I, this is my star, stargate. I didn't like that there weren't any rails out there. And I had these extra windows, so I figured, hey, why not? Let's put them up there. So I put some extra windows in there. So we're going to fly inside here, take a look at it from the inside. Give you a quick tour. Come on. Oh, oh no, no. He wants to go fly off on me. Stop that. Let's see if I can put him on the ground here and open the door. Much easier to do from the other side. Oh, come on. There we go. Off the back. There. Remember, you can't get off the drain through the front. And door direction does actually matter when you open the door. Uh, if you click the right door on the behemoth gates, it opens in. If you click the left door, it opens out. And that's all depending on what you're facing. So left and right, uh, per how you're actually facing. So you can see, let me close these gates. So if I was to walk up here, open the gate from this side, see the doors open out. And if you go over to this side, and the doors open in. So, something that's, I, I didn't even realize, I think um, I, I found that out when I was watching somebody's video that it did that. So this is the inside. You can see we've got nice solid roof. We've got our doors over here to our additional building. We still have our teleport ring here. I'm going to move this to a different spot because I'm actually going to wind up putting some stuff over here. Um, I haven't figured out exactly where I'm moving it yet, but I'll, I'll get that moved later. And this, I went down uh, earlier today. One of the guys I, I play with, uh, Big Mac, suggested to, um, to make a change here and put the electrical conduits down earlier. So I put those down. I put this one down before I put up uh, more than the first, second layer of wall. So when the two layers were up, this way I could actually kind of center it between walls, and then it would sit almost like right on top of that of that ceiling. So now it's going to run. When I run the wires, they're going to run right along this path, and they'll almost be hidden. And I'll show you what that looks like from the outside because there's. It, it, I also kind of positioned it so that it would punch through this wall, but not too far through the wall. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is basically going to be where our birds are and maybe some larger dinos. Um, I did find out that these wonderful teleport pads, you can actually teleport a... Uh, for the teleport rings, you can teleport a... Uh, cue through them, which I didn't think you could do, but it's just a matter of positioning yourself correctly. So, the only thing I, I am still trying to figure out what I want to do with is right there at the top of the door. Now, unfortunately, the metal doors, the glass metal doors, fall a little short and they actually hang a bit low. So, not sure why they do that but I've got that gap up there between the top of the door and the ceiling and I've got the same thing on this side and I think what I'm gonna wind up doing is running a piece of wall all the way across there too even though when you open the door it would technically go through the door here it goes through the floor but it, you know I'm okay with that that's just it's a mechanic of, of the game to
to me, it, you know, if these doors would line up exactly where, you know, this wall and this wall of the door, or really, you know, this this small little little protrusion there, if those lined up perfectly, then it would work great. But they don't line up. There isn't anything I can do about it. I'm not overly concerned about the look. So I'm going to just leave it like it is. I think it works quite well. Now, um, now what is going to go in here is I got to run some wires through here and they're, they're quick and easy. They're cheap to build and I'll get those done quickly. And then I'll run a little interior wiring, probably all the way across to about here. Um, I may even run it just all the way across to this wall. I, I haven't decided a hundred percent what I want to do there. And I'll line up all of my machinery, my fabricators and everything right along so that there's actually going to be, so I'm going to put them in this row, the second row, and I'm going to line all of this stuff up. So all the wires are here, all the outlets are on this row, and the, all those outlets and everything will be behind the refrigerators and behind the fabricators and everything else. I'm going to do that along this row also because I think I'm going to need both. Uh, I think I'm going to need both directions on this. There's a lot of tools, a lot of equipment that, uh, that has to go through there. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking about doing is I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if I'm going to go because I want it to stop here because this is where the doors are. So I'm thinking I may even run some machines on here and just keep, give the dinos the other three quarters of this area up here. And look, this is the tail of our Sarco. It sticks up. I, it, it's got to be some sort of freaky glitch with it. I've seen them do weird things. They, they contort in ways that aren't physically possible. It's, it's quite amusing. Uh, so uh, let me go downstairs here. Take my little quick teleport ring. And that's up. So now I've got... These are, these are, this is the wood storage and the stone storage. Uh, they store anything that's harvested. Uh, this is harvest, anything off of a tree. This is anything off of a rock. So those were quite, those are, uh, you know, very useful add-on. Those are from uh, Arc Advanced Mod. This is the Anunnaki Forge. Um, it makes, it requires gas to work, which is fine but it makes ingots, it makes the metal ingots, it makes them extremely fast. So I do like having that, uh, that forge built. So this is the basement, basement, not the basement, it's the first floor. And uh, as you see, it's a big wide open area. This is where all of my walking dinos will go. Um, Pooper's living up to his name. He's got a pair of poops sitting there. But this will keep. Uh, but this will be able to. I'm able to put all of my walking dinos in down here, without any concerns with uh, with space or or anything like that. Now, I'm gonna run out here and show you this. Let's see, I, I really these are nice. I, lo I really like these. I think these are from Anunnaki. Also, um, I don't remember 100%. Um, they could be advanced. I think I'm pretty sure they're Anunnaki. But these are the solar panels. You only need a solar panel to power your entire network of everything. So, yeah, you could do it with just one. I like the idea of a solar farm. We see them quite a bit. And, you know, just having a single solar panel just didn't seem like it would be enough. It just it didn't, it didn't feel right. It Technically, it works enough. But, you know, I like the idea of, of a mini farm like this. So you can see I've got the power line connected to this and it comes over here and this is the one that sticks out on that floor. And you can see it just barely gets out there. So it comes down that wall and it hides really well until it gets to this bottom one where the two pieces, I used a, a glass piece there. I probably should have used a more solid piece. Uh, maybe have put this glass piece at the top and brought one of those solid pieces down more down here somewhere. Uh, you know the things you see after you finish building. It, it, you could you could spend days just going back and rebuilding things, and I have many times gone back and rebuilt a lot. So, but then this comes down, connects into here. 
I had to use this incline because a full vertical I actually put it into the ground and I couldn't see it. And while it may have worked, I, it, it would have been really difficult. It would have been a real challenge to, to make sure everything was connected. So with this incline, it comes down, runs over to this. I'm going to move all of these other, uh, all these other solar panels around and get them lined back up. Um, I like that they're all facing the same direction. I think that seems correct. And then, uh, so my next task is going to be, uh, shouldn't be too difficult. A lot of this stuff is movable. Some of it isn't. Uh, I'm going to have to rebuild some, uh, but not all of it. Um, I, and I'll get to rebuild the grill. I got to rebuild the refrigerators. Uh, a fabricator I can pick up. I can pick this up. The glass metal smithy, the ancient bench. This is the Stargate mod where you build your Stargates. I, I may not actually rebuild that. I may just leave it. Uh, if, if I find I need it later, I'll build it. But I don't think I'll need it later, so I'm not gonna. So I'm not overly worried about rebuilding that one. Um, but then I got to take all of these floor panels off. Uh, these I don't have to rebuild. These I can pick up. So I'll have those floating around somewhere. And I may wind up maybe even doing a second floor. And Sorry, my phone is, is being thoroughly ignoring, uh, annoying right now. Uh, well, then be quiet. Uh, so I may wind up taking some of this out and re in building a, a second floor uh, over here. Oop. So the floors don't quite match, so there is a little little stuff there. And I may wind up maybe putting in a second floor over here um, to put some more equipment in or something. I, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to move my storage and everything over here also, which will have to be rebuilt, but that's fine. I've actually built wood storage, and I think I'm going to go to vaults. Um, which I think look a little bit better, and they, they actually would look a little more natural in this uh, in this house, and you know, so I, I think that'll work out pretty well. So I think uh, for today, that's going to be it. Um, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, you know, uh, hit that follow button. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube a little bit later, uh, I will post it to YouTube. Um, if you're watching it then, uh, throw a little a little like on there, a little follow on me, and uh, you know, hopefully I can uh, keep you uh, keep you entertained here at least for a little bit. And I will uh, see you next time. Bye.